Praise the Lord. Welcome to AIM. Guys, I'm here at the house. They're working on the corn um, for the animals here. So this corn had a lot of bad places in it. So they're taking it off. So you guys have seen us do it at the house. Well, they're doing it here for us. So that will help. Um, but you've seen what we do at the house. They do it a little bit different here. But, um, yeah. So here is the ones that are bad. And then I'm showing you what we're doing, what we've done with the ones that aren't bad. So this is the house that my husband had built. Um, if you didn't see a previous video where I explained it to you, most of this wood, except the bamboo, all the other wood has come from the farm. The trees that we cut down, all this wood came from that. The chainsaw operator cut it into the sizes we needed. And um, they built this structure here with it. The only things that we didn't get from there was, of course, your hinges and the locks, the bamboo, the nails, and the roofing sheets. But that's how it is. I'm going to show you guys inside here. Sorry, guys. I'm not used to climbing up this. And the metal is so that the rodents don't get in. But look at that corn, guys. It's very thick. Uh, I don't know how thick. Maybe two feet. Back in there is probably two feet high. And it can go up higher. The way they built it, it's called a corn house. You can dry the corn in there. So the corn is drying up. Um, this is what happens to it after they um, pluck it and husk it, pack it in the bags, put it in the truck, carry it up here, and dump it out in here. And now it's going to sit here until it's dry. And then we'll go from there. So you guys stay tuned. Um, we use corn to make the feed for our chickens and our animals, so it can be used for that, but they also sell it. That one over there is going to be the animals one. This one over here is going to be for um, whatever they use to make corn, or make co with corn. Grits is made with corn, guys. So they have it, they call it something different here. They have a coarse kind and a fine kind, and they use that. They make kenki, they make um, other things with the corn that they eat here. So, yeah. So, corn is, they sell corn a lot. So, it's definitely good, and it's something to help keep the farm going. Um, now, we're starting to harvest stuff, and it hopefully... The money for supporting the farm will quit coming out of our pocket and come from the land. That is the ultimate goal here, is to also start making money from this farm to sustain us. So instead of us sustaining the farm, the farm will sustain us. So we're sowing and we will reap a great harvest in the Lord's time. Okay. I'm going to be back. I got to get down off of this ladder right here. And I'll be right back. Done eating. We ate watching. And now, sorry. Now we're coming to see the plantain. Here's the tomatoes they got growing. So they can grow. A uh, little bit of stuff that they will eat. Here at the house. I showed you these things before. Here's a papaya tree. Garden eggs, guys. Look, I see one. Garden egg. It's coming. Mm hmm. So, this is what it looks like, guys. <clears throat> We've been looking at ours at home and I haven't seen one yet, but that's how it looks. Wow. Here's the rest of the coconut that we purchased. So they use these for replacements. When a coconut is dead, they take that and um, they plant it. 
Look, they got peppers too, guys. So all of this stuff came from the same place. And my husband brought some home and we planted them. So now we're coming to check the plantain. Here's the cassava. So we're seeing the plantain that can be cut. There's some plantain. But I don't know which ones they're gonna cut. We're going along to see. This is the first part of the land, guys. Now, I told you in a previous video that I will show you what I meant about the plantain. So, when we come, you see the little ones that grow up. Mm -hmm. There's a coconut. So, this place has coconut too. But you can plant other crops on it. Look at that one. Look at that plantain. You can plant other crops on it until it grows up. Huh. So that's what's going on here. We're looking for the plantain that we will harvest today. Let's follow Ken. Okay, this is one we're harvesting. Uh huh. So they cut it. They cut the tree down. It's very, very sticky, guys. That um, juice that goes from it. Let me be out of the way so he can feel free. So will we get the leaves for the animals? No. We'll get something else for them? Okay. So we won't take these leaves for our animals. We'll get something else for them. Look at the water coming out of there, guys. It's not like water. It's sticky. It's sticky. Okay, so he's cutting the end like that. Okay, let's go. And you see the others are growing up. So it will still be some. What about this big one? Maybe it's not growing yet. They will come there. Oh. Uh, oh, okay. We're going line by line, guys. And we're seeing which ones are ready. Okay. I don't know. Oh, tomato fur. Uh huh. They're growing tomatoes here. <clears throat> so, this is the plantain. How much will we sell this one for? Oh, I think it goes for 30 CDs. 30. 30 CDs for one bunch. There's a coconut. I don't know why this one is so small, guys. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe we need to transplant it with a bigger one. We'll see. So they're going line by line. There's some right there, but it might not be ready. Looks like the others will grow on it. Okay, so here we go. Let me be out of the way. Look, see this coconut is very, very nice, but the other one was teeny tiny. So maybe we'll transplant that one with a new one. Okay. Ken's getting some plantain harvest, guys. This is actually the second plantain harvest because Wednesday they harvested some. So you cut this down. I'm guessing so it doesn't use any more nutrients and stuff. Cut it down. So this one, when they cut, they cut the plantain, we will come back and plug the little ones you know it has about three or four plantains so when you cut you cut one then you will come and take uh plug dig the other ones 
and plant it somewhere else. Wow, that's what I was telling you guys. Oh, right here is, huh? Oh. This is a lot, right? Yeah, so when this one, is, if it's, if the time come for us to, um, you know, cut it, then we have to take the, the little babies and plant it somewhere else. Because if you don't take it, um, the, the, the uh, what we call the, the plantain stick will be small and it cannot produce very good. Oh. So that's why you have to always replant it, it uh, the little ones, as soon as you harvest the, uh, you harvest the, uh, the big one, then you replant the little ones again. Wow. Yeah. So that's why, guys, and that's what I was telling you. Once we bought this plantain, these sets, we don't have to buy it again. There it goes. Take it up to the road, and then we'll come and pick it up. Yep. So this oh, one, boy. this one we didn't do that to. And the, there's the plantain. So maybe when we cut the big one, that's what he was saying. What about this place? What is this? The manure? This is manure. Uh huh. This was the poultry manure. So it's still here. So you can always put it around, spread it around. But the place is very fertile. There's a coconut. Look at that. That's doing very, very nice. I don't know why that other one was so small. Hmm. There's the road, guys. <laughs> and this is the other road. So let me come out here and show you guys. This is where the two roads meet. So guys, back in the early, early videos, this is where we used to come. And we used to come, there were big logs over here and they kept this place weeded down. And we used to come here and sit and eat. We used to park the truck right here. And going down this road is where the neighbor's house is that we have our small corn house. So farm manager is cutting this. This is the bunch. That is the bunch that he got. We have cassava. Look at the coconut. So this is border coconut. This coconut's about two years. Uh, one year. One year. One year. We planted it when we came. Yeah, we planted it before you before came. You came. We've been here a year. Yeah, so it might be one year and some months. Some months. Okay, one year and some months. And then this one, the second row in. Uh, we just planted it. Okay, that's the ones we planted. Yeah, oh, okay. Okay. So here's what we got going on, guys. This is exciting. Plantain harvest. So I'm guessing in the big, huge plantain farms, they come in and they just harvest it. But we are just getting the ones that are ready. There's some. Ha! What shows you that they're ready? The plantain. Uh huh. Normally, the leaves will dry. Oh. Yeah. If the leaves dry, then it shows that it's ready. Okay. We'll look at the next one, guys, and we'll see. Come and take a picture of this one. You said come and take a picture of this. Uh huh. This Here we go, guys. So We're seeing it live. Oh. So you see how dry. the leaves are. Uh huh. So that tells us that the plantain is ready for harvesting. Wow. Okay. Ooh, that's, that's a big one. Wow. So they cut it like that to let it dry up. Why do you cut it on the end like that? To let the water drain. Drain out. Okay. Sometimes you guys put dirt on it too, correct? Yeah, sometimes they even put dirt on it to get it. Because it's very, very sticky, guys. That stuff is super sticky. 
whenever you're cutting plantain or something like that, um, it makes it makes the handle of your knife very very sticky. So, like I was saying, so you see, as they cut that one, right? Uh huh. So the next time, they will um, dig and take this plantain. The little one, they will take one, two, three out. And leave then one. Leave one. If you uh, don't okay. do like that, it will not grow bigger. Okay. So it's gonna grow tiny, and you will not get any. Uh, you won't get any good yet. Good, good. Okay. So that is a blessing. Man, the cassava is doing well. Mm -hmm. So by January, all this one will be harvested. Wow. Yeah. This one is six months, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah, six months cassava. All this ones are six months. So the cassava are six months old. No, it's supposed to be six months, then it's time to harvest. Okay, from the time you put the stick in the ground? Yeah. Six months, wow. Six months, some are a year, but this ones are six months. Okay, it depends on the type, I guess. Okay. See, when you see flower like this, uh -huh, uh -huh. then it shows that it's, it's, it's getting ready. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I think we have some flowers on our tallest ones at our house. I hope you guys enjoy walking with us through the farm. Wow, that one looks huge. Wow. Wow. And more will be ready in a few days again? Yeah, like this one. Yeah. Wow. Within two weeks coming, all these ones will be ready. Wow. So it's like you're pruning it, right? Oh. Yeah, so when you cut the plantain, then, you know, you have to take the little ones up and rip them. Wow, that's a blessing. itself will become fertilizer. You see this was one that was harvested before. So it's breaking down, becoming fertilizer for the ground. So come out here. Okay. Here's another one. So you see guys, 
while we're waiting for the coconut, we have all these crops. So when the coconut comes, will we be able to do the plantain anymore or it will we'll have to stop? Yeah, when it gets to, um, uh, when the coconut grows very tall, it will form like a canopy. Uh -huh. And that one, you can grow anything under the coconut. So since we are planting the coconut and it's very young, it's good to plant something, mix crops so that you can, you know, harvest it and then maintain your farm. Okay. But when it get to a point that it has um, shade or canopy, you can plant nothing under it. So maybe before that time, we will try yeah, to do the other side of the farm right? and transfer the little, little ones and the right. sticks from the cassava and the corn right. over there. Right. Now, and what about the sugar cane? The sugar cane area, yeah, it's the same thing. When the coconut, you know, grow to a certain, um, this, like I said, if you see that it has grown and have this kind of pin, you can, everything that is under it, it will kill it. Okay, and then you won't have to weed again. You know, yes, you don't have okay. to weed it anymore. Okay, so that's but how the coconut is. For now, it's gonna take maybe about four years for you to start doing that. Okay. And then by that time, the Lord willing, we'll have the 24 acres cultivated where we can start transferring these crops over there. And we'll see what else. I would like to grow um, your curia grass and alfalfa and things of that nature for our animals over there. But I'm not sure if it's going to grow good here. We have to find out. Wow. One I try. So they're going line by line to see the ones that are ready. I saw one over here. That the leaves look brown. It's big. Okay, this one, the leaves, oh, they're not all brown yet. Right. Okay. This one was. Okay, and this one is. Mm -hmm. So here's what I just harvested. Very, very nice. Okay, I think I'm getting it. So this one. Oh really small mm -hmm. okay guys we're gonna take a little walk through here hope you guys are enjoying the plantain harvest okay let's just follow the manager So here's the flower, guys. The plantain flower. Mm -hmm. Okay, my husband's taking that. So we'll follow and see. This is plantain harvesting, guys. Hope you're enjoying the video. Guys, if you want to contact us, feel free to visit our website, aaimcs.com. It will be in the description box so you guys can find it easy. Go to the Contact Us page and um, find my husband's contact information. You can contact me if you want, but for your questions and things of that nature... Um, you'll want to contact him. He is the one orchestrating all of this and um, has land prices and all of that. Um, I hear tell that there's land for sale close to here. So I, I would love to buy it myself. But we haven't looked at it yet and we haven't checked into it. But 
um, yeah, that's what I heard. So hopefully we'll get to check it out. That would be really, really nice. And land is a good investment. So, um, yeah, just contact my husband with any of your questions. We're here to help, guys. We've already helped some buy legitimate land, get their documents very, very quick. And um, we've helped some relocate here. We've been helping a lot with their questions, where to start, what to do. So if you guys have any, just feel free. Look at that one, guys. Wow. That thing is huge. Very, very huge. So you see how it is. You see how the leaves are brown. So it's ready. And I'm guessing the one right there is ready too. We'll see. Because all of the leaves look brown on that one. So that is my guess. It looks like this one is already down. We have one. Mm -hmm. Manager, we have one. Uh, this, one this one, it will it fell. Let it stay for some time. Oh, it will still grow. Uh, it will still grow. But oh, it's wow. Wow. That's amazing. We call it Audacia. 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 Uh, Oh, wow. We're learning, guys. We're learning. I hope you're learning with me. Somebody's machete. Wow. Wow, guys, look at the butterfly. Oh, I hope I can get it for you guys. It's so beautiful. Oh. Hope you guys saw it. I don't know if I got it on the video. So going line by line to see all the ones. Do you know how many we have so far? I think we have about 15 to 15. Wow. That is awesome. Aha. Oh, wow. Wow. Right. And it's starting to turn yellow. Mm -hmm. Oh, that might be a keeper, guys. <laughs> If we want to keep some, we have to keep them aside because they go quick. Wow. That one looks really good. Guys, what we learned is that if you get the yellow ripe plantain and you cut it and put it in the freezer and you take it out to fry it, it come, it's soft. It's very, very good. It's very, very good. So that's what we would do. If... We weren't able to sell them, which that's not going to be a problem because people are still coming wanting more. But if we were not able to sell them, that's what we would do. Let them ripen and then cut it up. Not this one? This one still needs time? Yeah. Okay. Because the flower is still there too. Mm -hmm. So there might not be as many um, to harvest today. You gotta let them go a little bit. Maybe if my husband comes on Wednesday, the Lord willing, maybe there'll be more to harvest. Wow. 
That looks like a big bunch. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Wow. I think they say the tomato is cried here. You have some here. Where are the tomato now, thank you? Oh. I planted tomatoes here. And look at them, guys. What is it? Guys, you're kind of... No. That is the kind you like, right? The small? How come you cut that one off? Yeah, you can cut it. See the water dripping, guys? there's what the flower looks like guys and it's still dripping water where yes. you cut it my husband likes that little plantain the little ones he said they taste very very good so when you get the plantain and you plant it, I guess you don't really know which kind you're getting. Well, I think that's about all we got for today, right? Okay, we'll walk back. We'll see what the harvest was. You guys can walk. I don't know. Some of you might not like walking through here with me. But for those of you who do, I'll take you. We'll go and see what we got for the harvest. Okay, I'll show you guys the harvest when we go pick it up. Or if they're gonna bring it to the truck. Either way, it's not far. So it's good to get out on the land, walk around, see what's going on, and see what you can find. And you see the harvest. Now they're getting the chaff off of the corn. You guys have seen us do that at the house. Okay. 
Not pro pro pro. Okay, let's see what we have with the corn. The ladies have been working hard on the corn. You guys have seen the oh, process. Wow. So there's the corn. For the animals. For the animals. And we still got more here. And this one won't be today, I'm sure. <clears throat> but you left your key. Yep. So this one, I guess, won't be today. And I don't think he'll have me have us doing it if we can get it done here. So, okay, guys, we're walking down this way now. This is to the left of the house. Before, we were at the right side of the house. So I hope you guys are enjoying this, the 50-acre farm video. I didn't bring my hat, but I'll be all right. Guess we're not. Oh, we are going a little far, but we'll be inside the plantain, so. So you see the farm, guys, from this vantage point, there's the cassava, the papaya. It's a little hard for me to see the screen, guys, so forgive me if I'm not getting it just exact, but I'm trying. There's the farm. So we're going down this way. I didn't bring my stick either, guys. See over there, they're, they're clearing the land. Not sure what they're gonna plant over there, but they're clearing the land. So that's what we were hearing earlier. So this place, not really sure what's going on with this place. I know we have coconut here. There's contumery. I don't know, I don't see the corn. So I don't know that we're planting corn here. It'd be nice to fill this in with plantain. Maybe the ones that they have to. Ooh. They have beautiful butterflies here, guys. Maybe it would be nice. Okay. This place up here has what? Just a coconut? It's just coconut. We haven't planted anything. So maybe we can plant the plantain here. Wow. Great minds think alike, guys. <laughs> the two shall become one. So my husband was saying something about different plantain. So. It's different vibes. A different variety of plantain. Let's see how it looks. Let's see. Where is it? No. Oh, okay. Let me come around here and see. Show you guys. Oh, okay. And that looks red. They saw. They said they call it body you. They call it body you. Plantain you. The name is you. So that's what the manager was saying. Wow. Yeah, it's different. Okay, so we'll see what the harvest brings here. At least, I didn't bring my hat, but we're under the shade. The plantain leaves are very big and they make a nice shade. Okay, you got a bunch. We'll have to try some. Oh, was it a bird nest? On the plantain? So to hold it up. Wow.
So sometimes you have to prop it up too because it gets heavy and it's pulling down. Let's go with the manager and see what else we can see. Guys, you see, sometimes if you call him and he's at the farm, it will be a little bit hard. Oh, the coconut is growing. Yeah. Wow. Oh. This plantain is big. Wow. Look at that, guys. This one, they've propped it up, but it's not quite yeah, done yet. Here's one. Yeah. Wow. Look at how big that is, guys. So, hopefully, by the time the coconut is too tall for anything to grow in here, it will make a canopy and nothing will grow well here, including the weeds. So, by that time, maybe all these little, little ones that are coming up from the harvested plantain, we can take and... Put it on the other land so hopefully we can cultivate that other side clear it and then be able to plant these things within the four years that it will take for the coconut to grow up so hopefully that's how it will work the lord willing see guys i'm in the shade under the plantain leaves they use plantain leaf a lot for stuff. Mm -hmm. It didn't have any plantain on it. Which one? This one? That's the one. Oh. Oh, I thought this was for this one. Okay. I think about two weeks. So this one not quite. You see guys the leaves some of them are dead but some are not. So it's not quite ready yet. Go see the ones over here. And we learned that our granddaughter is a very good saleswoman. <laughs> She's very, very good at that. She was so excited when we were selling the plantain. She wants to get the store cleaned and ready, so she will sell eggs and plantain and all kinds of stuff. Yep, she's very excited. Wow. Guys, if you come and you ever want to take a trip and come and see the farm, just let us know. 
we can make uh, a day trip to the farm. If you guys are interested in just coming here, getting the feel of the farm, getting a feel of how it is, seeing it for yourself, walking on it, um, enjoying the fresh air, enjoying the peacefulness, the tranquility of the farm. Guys, just let us know if you're interested in that. I mean, we'll be more than glad to take you. See, the coconut's doing well. And the contumery, the coco yam. Yep. So we'll be eating some of that coco yam. Wow, so this one doesn't even have plantain on it yet, but it needed to be propped up because it's so big. That one is huge. And there's the flower. So it's just starting. You see how it goes? Hope you guys can see that good. There's another one. Guys, we don't have to be the ones walking the farm and carrying the stuff and doing that. You can hire people. But it is really, really good to work it or have somebody who's worked it train you and show you the ins and outs of it so that you can go further faster. So this one was getting a bit heavy, so they have to prop it up. So they have sticks for that. So he has to be careful as to not cut the next um, plantain. Here it comes. Uh -huh. I'll pin one here. The small one? Yeah, we this one is a different variety. So guys, you see the farm. You see those ones. The coco yam. No, oh the plantain. Yeah, that one is special one that uh, somebody gave it to me. Oh. And I planted it. Is it some, like, the kind you really like? Yeah. It's called a pin. Maybe. Oh, that's the little ones. Yeah, you see the weed uh, is going there. Oh, yeah. 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 Got me a stick, guys. So... Corn was already harvested from here. And there's corn growing. See, this is a special variety that someone gave me. Well, maybe we should plant some at the house when it gets the little, little ones. Baby. Yep. <laughs> They're doing well. That will be nice. Of course, we have to put something around it at the house because the dogs definitely like playing with the plantain. The cocoa yam is all over the place. Line yes. Mm -hmm. So they sprayed. So the corn is doing well. And the weeds are dying. So that's the type of spray they used. And let me stand here. Can you guys see the line of the lines of corn going that way? 
I hope you see it. Uh huh. So corn is doing very, very well. You see how fertile the ground is? Mm hmm. Okay, so we're going back up. So, guys, by the time the coconut makes its canopy and nothing can grow here, we hope and pray that the Lord will give us um, strength, wisdom, and resources to be able to um, clear the 24 acres that is on the other side of the road. And then we can repurpose these plants and seeds over there. <clears throat> well, this video is going to be a long farm video, guys, but I hope you're enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I could put the camera down and just walk and enjoy it, but I want to take you guys along with me. I know I enjoyed these types of videos when I was waiting to come. So I hope you're enjoying them. What happened? I was supposed to have one here and one there. Uh, maybe we missed it. <clears throat> Do you see some of the trees that were here that needed to be cut down? You see? This was a big giant tree and we had to cut it down. Yep. A little plantain. Okay. <laughs> That's the little one. Yeah. Too many twins. Yeah, too many twins on it. <laughs> okay, so that one we might have. We might eat it in the house. <laughs> and this is another place over here where they were um, taking the husk off the corn. So you can just leave it there out here on the farm and you leave it here and it will end up being a fertilizer. It won't hurt anything. There's a papaya tree. So there it is. Guys, I'm really enjoying this farm. I'm really enjoying the fact that I was able to come. I'm very, very thankful. And I'm very thankful to be able to take you guys along. 
because I I really enjoyed going along when people were doing this kind of thing. So I'm now on the other side of it, enjoying taking you guys along with me. So thanks for coming along. Guys, I think um, I'm going to cut the video right here. When we get back up to the truck and we see all the plantain that we have taken, I'll show you and give you an update. More is still coming. So I'll give you an update. We'll probably leave it right there and stop and pick it up. And then um, I'll show you guys how much we got. All right, I'll be right back. Picking up the harvest. I hope you're enjoying these videos from the farm. Here's what it looks like. There'll be more ready next time. Okay, so there's already two. And then I think I counted 13 here. That's for the that's for the animals. So there was two, that's three, four. Six. Eight. Nine. Ten. <laughs> Eleven, twelve. So it looks like there's seventeen. There's seventeen all together from this. <clears throat> there were two in the truck, and then there was fifteen here. So seventeen. So we're gonna ride, guys. We're gonna ride to the next one, and I'm gonna take you guys along. This is Kartumi for the animals. <clears throat> So they're packing it in there. We might have to put some stuff in the back seat. Let's get up in here and ride, guys. I hope you guys really, really are enjoying the farm. I love the farm, guys. I love it. I love it. You guys see me. I got kind of red today. But anyway, hi, guys. <laughs> I'm really happy I got to come to the farm today. I'm really excited and I've enjoyed every bit of it. I got really red. That's okay. Um, guys, I love the farm. I love it. Being here one year, I am amazed at what God has allowed my husband to do. Guys, I'm amazed. I know my husband's a hard worker and he's very anointed and gifted. But to see this, wow, wow, you guys, it was, it was way grown. And now we're getting food from it. We're getting um, stuff to sell from it. Wow, it's amazing. It's amazing. You've done a wonderful job. The manager is here. Um, you guys have done an awesome job. Thank you. One year. Wow. One year. 
Since we came and stepped foot on this land for the first time, it was like this. Yeah. If you guys don't see it, I'm telling you, wow, wow. 26 acres, built a house, corn house, two, cultivated this whole place. Wow, it's amazing. It's amazing, I'm in awe. Yeah, the oh. manager has done a good job. Wow, wow very very awesome job we can't thank you enough and we will definitely get time to write some questions and interview you um if you guys have questions for the manager just write them down we'll try and get time to to answer them let's get over here and see the rest of the harvest guys okay i gotta be a little careful So this one is two. Hello. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen and a baby one. <laughs> so really fifteen, but that one's a baby one. Oh, and we got two there. We got one right here. The little ones, I'll give it to the animals, though. <laughs> oh, my. What? Because I wanted these? <laughs> and uh, oh, there's one I will give to the animals. I will give it to the... the Little, no, no, you the, can take it. Oh, yeah, let them take it. That okay, one not, yeah. it's not even ripe, is it? Uh -uh. Oh, oh wait, well, if he wants it, he can have it. But if you're gonna throw it out, I'll give it to the animal. Okay, so 14. The little one is gonna be supper. <laughs> So that's it, guys. That's it for the farm. Got the harvest. Uh, harvest, and we're, we're going. Okay, I guess he wanted that one. I thought we would take it and and eat it, but I guess he wants it. So my husband's giving it to him. Yep. So we got the corn. We got the corn. Um yeah we got the corn i think we're stopping to get cassava for the animals which will be their food and then we did get um contumery so that's what it is and uh yeah we'll ride on out yeah we'll ride out i'll let you guys ride out with us let me put my seatbelt on this time, guys. So we are on the way out. Okay, 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 so we are on the way out.
Yeah, you know. So, so if we get people to work, not say to buy that area, grass in a crown puna, over two boa. I know that there is no pressure on you. So I'm saying I'm getting, getting, getting out, targeting. So it has come to a place where the farm really needs to be watched over and that's what they are doing. Watching everything that is going on to make sure that it doesn't get away from us. You see how beautiful it is, guys. But the land is very fertile and the weeds grow up quick. So needs to be uh, monitored and that's what we did today so you guys have probably seen previous videos I made a lot of little little videos so you guys can see so you guys can see um, places at the farm so that's what we got going on guys we're leaving now it is two o'clock. Wow, we're leaving very early. My husband doesn't get that often. <laughs> he never leaves this time. Never leaves this time. So I guess I made him leave early today. <laughs> Me, I would stay. I would stay all day. But I think we finished what we came for. So it's time to go. Here's what it's looking like from above. This is what we got going on, guys. This is all the fun. This over here is 26 acres. You see the weeds have really come up. You see how the weeds are, guys. This is the fun. To the other side of here, so all oh, this place needs to be weeded. Huh. I think it's hard to even see now where the end of it is because of the because of the yeah the coconut is all here. You see the coconut is all here. So this place really needs to be weeded. This place is really really bad. So unless they came and they look then I can't know to tell them what to do. So we came, we walked it. This place really needs to be weeded. That is the end of the, the starting of the farm. Uh huh. The distance. So this, this one is uh -huh. So that's it. You see the coconut back there, guys. There goes the farm. This is what the road looks like on the way out. You guys have seen it in previous videos. It's a beautiful view, but I hope you guys have enjoyed. You saw the plantain harvest, so I told you guys I would show you what we got. So we got, um, I guess we got 31, 31 bunches. So maybe we can keep a bunch, we'll see. Unless they buy them all, then we'll just be eating the yam we have at the house. <laughs> all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Till next time. God bless you.